Well, first, um, hats off to, to Coach Odom and his staff in UMBC. They, they played a terrific game. They thoroughly outplayed us. And um, they did a heck of a job. Very hard to guard offensively. And they defended us well. I was concerned with a four guard or a four perimeter offense heading into this. Um, and we didn't do the job. And I told these guys in the locker room, you know, a week ago, we were cutting down the nets at the ACC tournament and how good that felt. Um, and they had a historic season. They really did. Uh, I said that to Tracy, um, CBS, after the game in terms of ACC wins and um, an ACC conference tournament championship. And then we had a historic loss, being the first one seed to lose. So um, that's life. We talk about it all the time uh, with the adulation, the praise. It comes, and we've got a lot of that this year. And then on the other side, there'll be blame and, and people pointing that out. But that can't, uh, in the end, you know, define these guys and our team or us, because it was a remarkable season. But, but we got thoroughly outplayed, and that's the reality of it. And um, I hate for this team, the way they played, to, to lose like this. But for Devin and Isaiah to go out like that, and Nigel being a, a fifth year for us. So um, with that. Um, if you play this game and you step into the arena, this stuff can happen. And those who haven't been in the arena or in the competition, maybe they don't understand that. But there's chances for wonderful things to happen. But when you're in the arena, stuff like this can happen. And all those who compete take that on. And, and so we'll accept it. And again, I want to congratulate the job that Ryan and his staff did. It, they, they played well, and, and we did not. Questions 